Uh, I'm probably in the minority with this take. Here we go. I like this. But I love the moves that Langdon has made. The only move I really hate is the head coach. I wanted the younger guy, but who the F cares? We won 14 games, so anything is better than what we had. That's from Jake and Troy. I actually like that move probably the most that they hired Bicker staff. I do too. I think that people keep saying he can get us to the next level and then you move on and get another coach. I think Pickerstaff could be the guy. You know, what he did with Cleveland is what we wanted here done in Detroit. He took a team that won 22 games, and I think they won 44 the next year. He developed Darius Garland with Jared Allen. We're hoping he does the same here, and then maybe he can stick around and be the guy and watch them advance to a conference finals, win a couple playoff series. I know that's really far down the line right now for a team that just won only 14 games last year, but he is, he's been part of that process before. And taking a young talent and with you no know, really no expectations and got him over the hump to where they are now, where they're expecting more, and that's why he was kind of let you know let go because they they thought they could do more. I mean, Donovan Mitchell was hurt at the end of that playoff series. They had no shot without Mitchell, and the Cavs decided to move on with Bicker Stafford. You know, they 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 think they can get more out of that roster, which is fine. Their loss, hopefully, our gain. We're hoping that he can take Dern. And Cade and do what he did with you know, Garland and Jared Allen or you know and, and whoever else they bring in. But they need a consistent voice. This is the third coach in four years for Cade Cunningham. That's a lot. You know, this is the third coach in three years for the entire roster. Yeah. They need they need to solidify the rotation and who's sitting on the bench. And, and by the way, Bickerstaff is going to show way more emotion than Monty Williams ever did in his 82 games here. Well, that's, I mean, that's something that the fans seem yeah, to care were, yeah. about. I mean, just occasion. care, right? Yeah. Uh, show that you care, and that would be someone that shows that he cares. Um, I I just, I, I think, you know, a guy that coached Cleveland for three, in, in three years, they won 44 games each year. That's better than 500 for three years in a row. And it's taking over at, at a team that was so young and not very good to begin with, and then he turns them into what they were. Now, yeah, they had a star player there. But can Cade be our star? Can they add more around him? Because that's what they're going to have to do now. The Pistons have they've, they've made a statement. We're building around Cade Cunningham. We just extended him for five years and $226 million. We're going to build around him. Now, the early stages of this rebuild are trading for a guy that got you assets in, in Tim Hardaway Jr. And, and signing Tobias Harris in a free agent contract for two years. And both of those guys can add some scoring. Harris averaged over 17 points a game last year. We've seen him before. I think that's the major reason why it comes with the. Eh. Yeah, because we've, we've literally seen him play here before, and I don't think he's gotten better. I mean, it, you know, that was how long yeah, ago? Like eight Six, years eight years ago. ago? Yeah. So, but he is going to provide veteran leadership, and he can. He's the ability to shoot the ball and ability to score. They don't have to make the playoffs next year, but they got to win more than 14 games. That's got to wear thin on a young roster that doesn't know. They didn't win. Me and Doug had the bet to start the year. I bet him that, and I didn't want this to happen, but that the Pistons wouldn't win three games in a row at any point during the year, and they didn't. They lost 27, 28, a record-breaking, what, uh, losing streak during the year. That that wears on a team. That wears on a young mindset. So to win 25 games, win 28 games. Please. Win 30 games. You know, Please. like... Please, please be well north of 14. God. Just well north of 14. Show me a two in front. Give me a two in front, and we'll be happy with it.